Welcome to Meet and Match, digital platform of Linea Pelle Fair. Hello, Justin Fox. Hello, Orietta. How are you? I'm really good and I wish to find you very well. How things are doing in London right now? We're good. We're good. It's a very sunny day. Projects are starting up again. People are starting to talk about the summer. Uh, so things are getting things are getting exciting. Great. I like also to know more about what's going on with your job right now, Calzada Fox, your studio. Tell me something more. Yeah, so um, Calzada Fox is a colour consultancy, but we're a colour consultancy with a, a bit of a difference. We look at strategy, we look at how colour interacts from applied colour psychology, from colour trends, from colour science. We bring that all together in a, in a business, uh, with business understanding. So it makes us uh, quite unique. At the moment, we are looking at several aspects. Uh, we have been doing quite a bit in terms of branding. A lot of people we've noticed have taken the opportunity to rebrand over lockdown. Uh, we have been looking at the built environment and engaging a lot with architects and interior designers about how colour affects the, um, the environment that we live in and, and how we can look at colour beyond just an aesthetic. So we can look at it to be more inclusive, to give us more identity and to help with sustainability issues too, which is very interesting. And we have been doing a lot for product as well. So that's quite interesting, particularly with uh, paint manufacturers that we work with. And they're looking at understanding how materials and colour are going to develop in interior and exterior. And that will direct some of their colour work. Brilliant, Justin, because we are really actually talking about the upcoming spring summer 2022, which is display here in our LP fashion studio right now. I got that colors and material are your main topic. What are you looking for right now? Which are the aspects of the materials contents, patterns that you look more? I, I think that people are really going to be looking for something that gives them more tactility, whether it's a visual tactility or a, a real tactility. I think as we've experienced this time where we've all looked to cleanliness and sterility, we long for something just soft. And so I think a lot of those visual aesthetics we've been exploring and in how things could be like slightly chalky or with a soft satin sheen. And so they're quite gentle. I think when we've been talking to our clients, people are very much looking towards um, minimal maximalism. So we, we urge, we've got this urge to have a much more flamboyant, expressive uh, time in our interiors. We've spent so much time inside, haven't we? And, uh, but we, we still want something very considered. So I think people aren't just looking to fill their house. They want it beautifully curated. And I think those materials all have to have this beautiful rhythm with each other, which I think would be really interesting. We, we haven't seen something like this for quite some time either, where you possibly, your maximal colour, so your, your full chromacity colour, you would pair in a, in a more simplistic styling. And yet then your neutrals, that beautiful tinted neutrals, those come through in much larger patterns and much more expressive renditions of them. So I think it's quite an interesting, interesting time for, for colour, pattern and texture as well. Interesting to understand that the colour flamboyance is quite one of the main aspects that thanks to the tactility and thanks to the deeper aspects of the intriguing uh, three-dimensional of texture can, uh, can be highlighted. But 
in a certain way, how your clients change it, how they change it, the appreciation of these types of chromes. Mm, yeah, it, it's interesting because I think we found from our clients that they are feeling much more about uh, building collections. So they're perhaps looking much further ahead than they would have in the past. So they, they plan a, a pathway through. So they may introduce one or two colors this season and then they'll match some in to the next season rather than it being a completely different story. Their requirements are evolving rather than changing every season, which I think is really interesting. And especially coming from a manufacturing perspective to build your collections in that way so that people can come back to you several times over a period of, of years is a, is a really interesting way to build that brand loyalty with, with your customers. And, and that's what we've been finding with ours. And they're, they're interested in more expressive color as well. I think part of this, uh, this situation that we've all been through has given us this sense of duality that you know yourself in trend, we've been looking at this for quite some time. And this pandemic has accelerated this, uh, this idea of you having these kind of two looks going on at the same time. And it's, it's really interesting that these colors are connected from nature, but you're looking at that kind of diversity of color and, and the chromacity in them can be something quite uplifting. I think what a lot of uh, customers are looking for is something that gives them that feeling of optimism, to give them that feeling of joy that perhaps we just need this, this uplift. So those are definite directions that we're, we're going down and the colors that, that talk about these, these uh, aspects of how we want to feel. What about duality? It's intriguing when you speak about duality. Can you explain it a little bit more in column contrast or in, in contrast of textures or contrast of feelings? Mm, well, I, th I, think, I think each one of those points is valid, actually. I, there's no reason now why your one space will answer all your needs and so through your house you may have an area that's very natural, very neutral and that could be an area where you want to relax or you want to decompress but then you move into these other areas that you know perhaps now we're doing our exercising at home or you know the multifunctionality of it so you need colours here at that Point to express more energy and more vibrancy. These, these living spaces become your workout, your party, your dining experience. And so you want really colors that invigorate you and, and lift you up. And it's interesting then as well, as we talked about pattern and texture. So using unexpected textures with color as well so perhaps you've got something that's a very natural roughened texture and then you use this like super soft beautiful pastel and so you've got that kind of contrast there all the time which i think is super interesting we've we've all been uh, starved of physical uh, trade shows and, and so part of that inspiration has gone but it's wonderful that so much has gone online there's still so much out there to feed our imagination. I think, Justin, brilliant. I'm thrilled to have the opportunity to touch and feel and see some of this new interior that you design in Calzada Fox. Uh, let me say thank you very much. Thank you because you open and you give us energy positive vibes and optimism. Absolutely. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you.